After massive leaks in competitive examinations in Haryana, Rajasthan and Telangana and use of technology like chat GPT in leaking of question papers, the government is now bringing in a new law to curb question paper leaks and tampering of answer sheets. The bill is aimed at preventing individuals, organized groups or institutions from compromising the public examination system and punish them with a jail term and heavy fine. According to the law tabled in Parliament, any person or group involved in the leak of a question paper or tampering with the answer sheet could be punished for a minimum of three years and also a maximum of five years in jail. They can also be punished with a 10 lakh rupee fine. To check the use of technology in examination leaks, service providers involved in conducting exams have also been covered under the new proposed law. If a service provider fails to report a case of leak or one of its employees being involved in compromising an exam, the same service provider can be fined up to rupees 1 crore, will have to bear the cost of the entire examination, which is annulled, and will also be banned from servicing any public examination for a four-year period. If the director or any senior official from the service provider company was involved in orchestrating the leak or was aware of the operation, he or she could be punished up to 10 years in jail and may also be fined 1 crore rupees. This law also looks at organized crime when it comes to exam leaks and people involved in this may be punished for a minimum of 5 years and a maximum of 10 years in jail. They could also get a fine of 1 crore rupees. This will be a model law available for states to adopt. Candidates or students appearing for exams will not be punished or covered under this legislation. It is mainly aimed against organized crimes, rackets and touts involved in paper leaks and manipulation of results. So what examinations are covered under this law? For example, the Union Public Service Commission exam, the Staff Selection Commission exam, Railway Recruitment Board uh, tests, Institute of Banking Personnel Selection and Ministries or Departments of the Central Government and the attached subordinate offices for recruitment of staff, national testing agency or any authority as may be notified by the central government. What are the offences covered in this? This includes the leak of paper or the answer key, taking possession of the question paper or optical mark recognition response sheet without authority, altering the assessment of an answer sheet, violation of security provisions to compromise the exam, tampering with the computer network, manipulation of seating arrangements, threatening an examination authority or creation of a fake website or conducting a fake exam for any monetary or wrongful gain. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.